For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have to find the force of each member in the stress state if the members are in compression or in tension. So you get this 450 pound force at D. Now let's look at A first. As you can see, A can only provide a vertical reaction going up. If this is going up, this has to be going down. If this is going down, this has to be going up. If this in A is going to the left, this force has to be going to the right. This one has to be going to the left. This is obviously a zero force vector because there's nothing to compensate for it. This has to be going to the right because this one's going to the left. Hold on, not this one. Yeah. And this one has to be going like that. And you know that since this one's a zero force vector and this one's going up, this one has to be coming down, which means this one's going up, which means this reaction can be going left and down. Now, now that we have all the, the directions of the forces, we can go at each joint and figure each one out. For example, at D, we got this force going up, this is force AD, this is force CD, and this is a 450 pound force. So you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero, so AD sine of 45 minus CD sine of 45 is equal to zero, so AD is equal to CD. Then you know that 2AD cosine of 45 is equal to 450. This is the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero. So AD is equal to 318.2 pounds. And CD is equal to this also, 318.2 pounds. Like, as you can see, AD is in compression and CD is in tension. Then at A, We have this joint, we got a reaction going up, we got AD coming down at 318.2 pounds, and we got this force AB, which is equal to AD cosine of this angle, this angle is given by the tangent inverse of 4 over 4, which is 45 degrees. So AD cosine of 45 degrees is equal to 225 pounds. And as you can see, AB is in tension. At point B, you can see that this is B. You got the force going left, which is found, 225 pounds. And only one more force, which is also equal to 225 pounds because the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero. So BC is equal to 125 <coughs> pounds, and as you can see, it's in tension. So we got BC, AB, AD, DC, and the zero force vector BD. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.